Hi guys, Dermdad here. Uh, I just want to take a few minutes and talk about all these skin rashes that we're seeing with coronavirus or COVID-19. Um, I'm sure you've seen the reports, people come in with various odd looking rashes. And really people want to know if, if it's caused by coronavirus or if they should get tested. And my thoughts on this, and, and clearly the research is still being done. This is very new for everyone, including dermatologists. But there are a couple of classic types of rash patterns that one should be aware of. Um, you have what are called COVID toes. This is similar to a lupus chilblains or a perineo type of look where the toes kind of turn bluish red towards the distal aspects of the toes. Looks kind of like frostbite. And the thought really is that this is probably caused by microclots, basically inflammation of the blood vessels and, and little clots causing the blood flow to be stopped to the ends of the toes. Resulting inflammation can be painful, um, also sometimes is asymptomatic. So that's COVID toes. Um, otherwise, you know, people have basically what you call nonspecific maculopapular or morbilliform type rashes, which are just little red bumps and, and areas just anywhere on the body. Usually asymptomatic, doesn't itch or hurt. Uh, this really is nonspecific, and you can see it with a lot of different viral illnesses. The way to tell it apart from something like eczema is that eczema or contact dermatitis is going to be pretty itchy. Um, a viral rash usually does not itch. Then you have things like hives, urticaria. Um, there have been cases of both of these showing up. And with something like that, you'd see a hive or a wheel, kind of a raised bump or raised area can be multiple, uh, can itch some. So hives signify kind of an allergic or immune mediated response within the body and usually are seen with allergic type reactions but can be seen with different kinds of infections. Again, it is pretty nonspecific, so just having hives doesn't mean one should say, hey, you know, this could be coronavirus, but um, in light of other symptoms, I would consider it. And in addition to this, you can also see various exacerbations. I mean, if there's increased inflammation within the body and someone already has something like eczema or psoriasis or, or other skin rash issues, you could certainly see an exacerbation of those. But at this time, most of the rashes with coronavirus and COVID are generally nonspecific, which means just, you know, just because you have a new rash doesn't mean it's COVID. But having said that, if you have a new rash and then have other symptoms of COVID, such as fever, shortness of breath, cough, not feeling well, now, you know, now we're talking about GI type symptoms as well. Um, any, anything unusual that's not easily explained, I certainly would suggest having it checked out. Uh, you can see your dermatologist, can see your primary care doctor. If it's severe, definitely go into an ER, but definitely get help if you need the help. Um, the skin rashes are helpful, but they're really not diagnostic at this time. But we'll keep updating this as, as we learn more about it. So look, if you all have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm always happy to help. I'm happy to try to share any insights. And uh, if you like the video definitely like it, subscribe. That certainly helps. And thanks for watching. Stay safe.